Queen Elizabeth II was named Queen of England on February 6, 1952. She is the longest-lived and longest-reigning British monarch as well as the world's longest-reigning queen. And, at 92 years old, Queen Elizabeth is still a working royal some 67 years after her accession. Royal feud, how Prince Charles snubbed liability Prince Andrew Brexit crisis, will Queen evacuate if Brexit turns ugly? However, accession day is not a happy one for the Queen. For her to ascend to the throne, it meant the death of her beloved father, King George VI. The King, who ascended to the throne himself following the abdication of his elder brother, Edward, passed away from a coronary thrombosis in his sleep, aged just 56. The Queen and Princess Elizabeth was in Kenya with Prince Philip when the sad news came. Read more, Queen and Prince Philip's anniversary, 71 years in pictures Philip broke the news to his 25-year-old wife that her father had succumbed after a battle with cancer. Commander Michael Parker, who was with the couple at the time, recalled, Philip looked as if you'd dropped half the world on him. He took Elizabeth up to the garden, and they walked up and down the lawn while he talked and talked and talked to her. She was sitting erect, fully accepting her destiny. I asked her what name she would take, my own, of course. Queen Elizabeth II, how does the Queen travel when she goes abroad? Kate Middleton decorated kids' rooms with furniture from this store the couple flew back to London immediately, and Princess Elizabeth began her duties as the Queen of England. But of course, the young Queen was also dealing with the grief of losing her father, so the accession anniversary is not celebrated by the royals. Instead, the day is marked in private at the Queen's Sandringham estate in Norfolk. Gun salutes by the King's Troop Royal Horse Artillery in Green Park and the Honourable Artillery Company at the Tower of London will be fired to mark the occasion, as is tradition. Read more, what does the Queen eat for afternoon tea? The monarch is only three years away from her platinum jubilee 70 years on the throne which would be the first for a British sovereign. In 2015, the Queen thanked the nation for its kind messages after overtaking Queen Victoria to become the nation's longest reigning monarch. She admitted bluntly that the royal record was not one to which I have ever aspired. She added, inevitably, a long life can pass by many milestones. My own is no exception.